So I didn't expect this. I thought that Once and Always was a darker, more mature episode special, as as you call. It. Like I generally thought, what we got was the peak of of how mature this show could actually go if they decided to go down that road. But I didn't expect to read this on Twitter, and we're going to look into it because if they had put this in. A, I think this would have been the darkest episode, or special, sorry, of Power Rangers ever to exist. And I, I'm very shocked. And I, part of what I'm about to read, I kind of thought would have happened to Trini anyway. As soon as we see the blast, I generally thought what happened would, was that. So we're going to jump over to Twitter and have a look. Raul, um, listen, anyway, um, asked a question and it said... Hi, quick question. Do we assume Trini's body disappeared, exploded, disintegrated after Rita's attack, or was it physically down uh, down the hill? I want to keep hope she can come back someday like Zordon somehow. Now, I will state this. I generally think that if Trini came back, it would derail everything that happened in there. Like, it just did, wouldn't make sense to have this sort of story. And I know a lot of people really want Trini to come back. They they want the legacy to stay alive. But from what we've seen in this, I generally think that if you brought, it, brought her back in some way, shape or form, then the special and everyone coming together, it would just be kind of like, eh, it, it wouldn't have been a great one. So... This is the one thing that, that got me here, and it's from Simon. It said, her body was vaporized. This moment was originally more explicit, um, but we cut it back in edit out of respect for Trini's memory. An earlier version of the script also had uh, the demorphed rangers finding Trini's body along with uh, her morpher on the beach below. And I was just like, holy fuck. Like, holy shit, that's, that's fucking dark. Um, it would have been with the tone of it being more mature. And when I kind of read this originally, I, for me personally, the way that I would have shown the, the kind of the, the death a little bit more would be as the rangers are on the hill, they're looking down, then it cuts to a, uh, the morpher on a rock or something, kind of ledged or at least then pulling away from the morpher and then that would have shown it. That, to me, would have signified this a little bit more, and it kind of would have added to, to it. Um, so let's have a look at some of the replies. Uh, better better this way, yes, thanks. Oof, that's grim. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you went with the Tema version, but it's oddly satisfying to know that you were willing to go full tilt. And I will agree with Captain Subpar on this one. I will wholeheartedly agree that this would have been something that they really went into rather than it being kind of a eh, it's fine um that ending killed me so much in a good way it was good but if you're telling me there's an r-rated cut of this movie with that and more i'd be down to see it and i agree with alan i wholeheartedly would like to see a more kind of like a, a, an r-rated version of this because i feel like there's so much more to this the way it happened was definitely better. A scene like that would have been so hard to deal with right at the beginning. I would have liked to have seen a close-up of, of a morpher in the dirt down below when the rangers were looking because it seemed to vaporize her. That is what I, that's literally the scene I would look, that's the scene that I would have gone with. I think you guys made the best choice. That scene was a tough pill to swallow considering Twee Trang's death. At least you made some respectful choices to handle it properly. I do agree, but I think the vaporizing, like we see it, her explode, and I would, have, you know, seeing her vaporize, like it depends on how you would go through the vaporizing. Is it something like through Star Trek, where someone like sets their face to the kill and they literally just vaporize? But I think from what we would have seen, what we got was fine. I, I would have liked to have seen the morpher, but we could have seen more, and I would have loved to kind of see like what happens. Um, you guys made the right call. The version we have now is shocking enough. I know that we definitely felt the force of the blast as we watched. 
I kind of wish this happened. I like the version you used. The death of Trini during the moment was enough and impactful. Seeing a body blow would have been so hard to keep watching after that. I would have kept watching after. I would have kept watching after that. A fine, classy choice. We got the message. Oof! Thanks for uh, lightening it a little. My five-year-old would have been scared for life. Out of respect for Tweed, Trini, that was the best choice. You made the best choice. Thanks for respecting her memory. It's a weird censorship struggle you've dealt with. Do more to emphasize the death or do less not to dwell on the moment. Good choice. Uh, choice that a little. Uh, good choice that be little too much. I don't think it would have been too much. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's dark and it's definitely more designed for the older fans, like, you know, for fans who grew up. And you kind of think, dear God, but damn, I didn't expect Simon and, and everyone else to go that dark, dear God. I feel like any way that you would have put it, like some people would have loved it, some people would have hated it. You know, I feel, at, you know, at least you could have shown the morpha uh, as a, like, on, on a rock or something, and it kind of pans out and slowly fades, fades to black. That, I think, would have been more to it. I think the, the reason with Trini and her death, it just felt like they led up to it, it's over and done with, and then, you know, the whole thing can carry on. So I would have liked to have seen a little bit more. I think that morpha, just as I say, the camera panning out, would have been the best like that would have worked so much more and had more of an impact anyway i'm gonna leave it there what are your thoughts on the fact of would this have been the best thing do you think that you know it's respectful for, for trini or do you think that they should have gone as dark as they could let me know down below in the comments if you like this sort of content hit like favorite comment and subscribe check out the channel memberships and with that i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video i want to say a big thank you to all my patreon supporters and i wanted to shout out kimono cat your help does go a long way to support the channel and if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. あらあら。チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。